y'all. This is week two in our feasibility class. So if you haven't already, you need to go ahead and download the feasibility workbook that I uploaded for you. So it's completely free for us to use. Um, there is a PDF file and there is a Word file. So whichever one you prefer is fine. We're going to start in that workbook for the first time this week. Um, first questions first, what is a feasibility study? Um, I've got an article posted for you, and then I have a discussion question for you to answer. So there's two. That's twofold. So you've got um, the question that I'm posing that I want you to respond to and give a full answer. Three or four sentences, something like that. And then I want you to go back in and respond to two classmates' posts to kind of keep the conversation going. If we were in the classroom, we would be talking about this very question throughout the class today. And because it's online, we need to simulate that discussion. Sometimes discussion questions are not my favorite, but when done well, they can actually help us start to get a better understanding. So take it seriously, answer the question first, and then after you know a day or so, go back in and respond to two classmates' posts. And that response needs to probably be a couple of sentences each. Um, at maybe follow that up with a question. Maybe say, here's what you think about, you know, maybe the topic they brought up or something. So make it a, a valid response, not just the typical me too and I agree. Um, then you've got worksheets one through three. So in your workbook, everything is um, numbered, and I think it's numbered one through 12. Um, this week we're talking about one, two, and three. I don't, I just want you to fill out the worksheets themselves. It's a question and answer style. So that you can do this two ways. If you have the Word document, you can type into it. You save it and you submit it in the, um, in the as an attachment in the assignment link. If you can't do that and you wanna handwrite everything, one, make sure I can read it. Two, you can scan that and submit that as an attachment. Don't attach every page separately. Attach it all as one file. Um, I, I, I rarely let written work be submitted. In this case, for the worksheets, it's okay because we're actually gonna take these worksheets and type out a, a paper with a, from our own words in as we go along, not this week. But so also, Keep up with your work this time because worksheets 1 through 12 will turn into something for us. We're building as we go. So make sure that you are keeping whatever you have. If I give you feedback and say fix this, do that, or whatever, pay attention to that. Check your feedback every week. Sometimes you're not going to get a whole lot of feedback. Good job, well done, whatever. And that means you don't need to change a thing. Just keep doing what you're doing. But sometimes I give you substantial feedback and it's because I need you to fix something. Um, so, discussion question. Worksheets one, two, and three. Read the article that I posted and then um, respond to your classmates post too. Other than that, that's all we got going on. If you have any questions or you need help, holler at me.